The city council now moving forward with a legislative package of police reforms, including limits on no knock raids and a way to conduct independent investigations in cases of police using lethal force. NBC 4 is Ted Hart is live downtown with more on what some council members say should be included. Ted. Yeah, council members clearly see a mandate from the community to act to make some changes at the Division of Police and to reimagine the future of public safety in Columbus. Implicit Columbus City Council members say in addition to the voices from protests in Columbus and across the country, they have heard from literally thousands of people who have lost confidence in the current system of public safety and the principles upon which the systems of justice were built. The truth is, they weren't originally designed to include all of us, but we are here now, and we can make the difficult but necessary changes to advance true equity in the city of Columbus. Council's agenda includes a look at limiting or banning no-knock raids, expanding background checks on police officers and police recruits to look for any affiliations with hate groups, and demilitarizing the police. We cannot give military style equipment to our police division and expect officers employed by it to keep the peace. The presence of police should never look and feel to residents as if we are at war. Council also plans to formalize an agreement to allow BCI to independently investigate instances of Columbus police use of lethal force with an eye toward eventually having a citizen review board take over that duty. Fundamentally, if we get this right, um, we need to have both the community trust the results of these kinds of investigations, but also the officers feel like on an every single day basis that they're going to be treated fairly. And hearings on council's proposals will begin as early as next week, and Council President Shannon Harden is promising a vote on these proposals before the end of July. Local for you and live downtown, Ted Hart, NBC4.